What's up everyone? We're really in for a treat today. So right here, if you would ask me what would my last meal be on this planet before I died or something, it's a tie between hot pot or Korean barbecue for me. Those are like my all time uh, favorite meals. And what I like about Korean barbecue and hot pot partic particularly is that you can invite a bunch of friends to eat together. So traditionally in Asian cuisine, we we, sh we share food with one each other with each other, like we order dishes. But in hot pot, um, usually and Korean bar barbecue, I usually go to all you can eat with my friends, and you know we don't have to worry about fighting over the food or whatnot because it's all you can eat. But this place I went to today, particularly my friend actually told me that this place um, called Tasty Pot in San Francisco is open during this quarantine. So, and he said, you know, I got to take out there before and it's still pretty good. And I've been here a couple of times before and there's so many very, there's so many hot pot places in San Francisco particularly and it's definitely become more popular, I would say. And I believe this style of hot pot is called Taiwanese hot pot style. So pretty much, this, um, it's not all you can eat. You get your like your own little set pot of whatever you like. And yeah, if you're not like a big eater like myself, sometimes sometimes I'm just happy with uh, just a, a s smaller amount. And part it's perfect for me at least since I don't eat that much anyways. And I'm super pumped to, about Smoke Mom today as well. I recently just watched Tower God episode 12 and we'll get into that later. And you know, the ending of Tower God is quite a twist at the end. So, but we'll talk about, we'll get to that later. But first, let's uh, get a bite to eat first. Let's get it. It's like, it's, in San Francisco, it's pretty warm these days. It's, you know, it's summer. Usually, it's hit or miss in the weather for summer in San Francisco. But it, it's warming up. Not too hot, but it's, for my standards, it's, uh, it's pretty warm. But sometimes, I don't know why, I crave hot pot during hot weather. I don't know. Is, is it just me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bring a hole closer right there. Yeah, yo. Like for hot pot for me at least, my favorite generally I it's best to eat the meat, right? That's the most expensive thing. But like the meat that they particularly serve at hot pot restaurants usually can vary from various seafood like shrimp and then there's fish cakes, there's crab, there's lobster sometimes. And but the meats they have, usually have beef. I usually I don't do they usually have chicken? I don't know. I don't really see chick they I think they have chicken but I, I don't think uh, raw, yeah, I'm not sure, but but normally beef, lamb and uh and pork pork sometimes I think yeah but generally beef and lamb are, are the best in hot pot in my opinion I mean pork's good too though definitely solid and then right here I got a sauce inside usually at, like hot pot places they usually give you a variety of different ingredients to mix your sauce with and you can just there's like so much like at a Chinese restaurant, I'm sure people are overwhelmed by how much, how many items there are on the menu. And of course, there's so many variations of mixing your sauces, but all I got to tell you, you just got to experiment with it and see what your preference is. Mm -hmm. Man, it's been a while since I had hot pot. Woo, that, that sauce on the side got a little kick to it, but I like it. Mm -hmm. And then Tasty Pop for this, it's super reasonable. And I think they give you a really good amount of food in here. It's reasonably priced. So it came out to be like a little over fifteen dollars, with a tax included and everything. So yeah, definitely highly recommend. Mm. 
but generally, you know, hot pot places and corn bar- barbecue for all you can eat, at least. It's generally maybe after taxes and tip and everything, a little over $30. So, if I mean, if you're a big eater, definitely all you can eat is more worth it. But if you're not too hungry, you can stick to the other place. Like tasty pot that doesn't have all you can eat. Okay, so let's get into the hot dumpster fire of what happened in Tower God episode twelve. So this first season, I believe, has thirteen episodes in total, according to my anime list. And there's only one episode left. But episode 12 at the end of the episode was a shell shocker for sure. So Shibisu feels like there's some intimidating aura and presence behind him. And he turns around and finds that it's Princess Yuri. She's finally caught up uh, to Bam and where all the other examinees are. So meanwhile, Endorsia and Nock are tag teaming. A fight together against Ren. If you remember, he's part of the. Um, oh, one second. He's uh, an assassin, if you will. And so initially, Anok and Endorsey are winning the battle, but at one point in time, Endorsey lets her guard down, and this leaves an opening where Ren was pretending to be hurt. But in reality, he was waiting for that opening, and he opens his mouth of some sort and releases some lightning bolt and greatly damages in Dorsey. Oh my gosh, I don't know, I'm drinking a lot of water because the hot pot soup isn't too spicy itself, but the sauce is, uh, it's, it's pretty good, but it's a little spicy. But anyways, so yeah, he t- Ren turns the sides quickly, and then Yuri eventually catches up. And she makes this like really stank face at Ren, and Ren, I don't know, I guess he's attracted to that and wanted to, he wanted to attack Princess Yuri. He's trying to hold himself back because she's a princess of Jihad, but he couldn't hold himself back and he decided to attack her with some, he conjured up some monsters of some sort in his bag of tricks, but Yuri easily defeated these creatures. So going back to the, the examinees, so Kuhn, before they set out to do the exam, he knew that the dolphin, net dolphins and earthquakes had a similar route in underground. So he planned, he planned that and you remember if the, the goblins have their giant net worms, so pretty much they, they sucked up some earthquakes and Kuhn's plan it. Uh, all along was for the earth pigs um, to come out of these network wet worms and uh, cause a ruckus for the worms and the goblins themselves so they would fight among themselves and his plan came to fruition and meanwhile Kuhn is really interrupted by an individual who pretty much looks looks like him I think he might be a little older and we know that he's some how affiliated with the the Kuhn family of some sort, but I'm not sure. I don't think they revealed his name, but he said that, you know what, Kuhn, I can offer you a deal of a lifetime. I can take you and meet Princess Maria. And if you remember about uh, Kuhn's past, I believe he's really close to this princess, but she stepped all over him and he is now cast away, casted away from the Kuhn family. So... Since Yuri is by herself at this time, she's face, uh, uh, facing Ren, her followers are kind of late to catch up to the game, but they're all, her followers are interrupted by Han Sun Yu, and they eventually realize that Han Sun Yu is possibly behind um, what's happening in this exam where he's letting the assassin go loose without a care in the world. So... Eventually, um, I'm not sure what the, the short dude follower of um, Princess Yuri is called. I'm, I forgot his name, but yeah, he said 
there's another lackey beside it beside him and he said go along and follow princess Ziri while i'll take care of things here and like chit chat with Hans and you so yuri yuri is we get to know a little about herself as like a ranker she's very strong no doubt she's overpowering ren easily and she she's the epitome of what a powerful ranker and a true princess of the jihad is and um so eventually you know yuri is beating up ren to a pulp and she said and she says to her one of the lackey that was following her she he actually caught up and he smashed ren to pieces like a with a huge hammer and he's like flattened like a pancake pretty much but before he parted ways he revealed that you remember he was controlling that strong monster called the bull so pretty much he's he sent the bull to 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 Bam and Rachel so you know not all things were in the clear yet so before yeah so before he passed away yeah that was his uh last command to the bull okay let's get some more tea here Oh, make sure for hot pot leaves. Well, all you can eat, I generally stay away from you know rice a, a bit, but it may, it may have be good to have like a little starch on the side, because like if the if you're like a hot, hot spicy person like myself sometimes I'm not I'm a, my tolerance isn't good but I like spicy food, then it's good to have like a little nice contrast, of uh, uh, having some rice on the side. It's it's kind of like a palate cleanser if you will. And then definitely on my pitcher of water right here because you know I, I'm gonna I'll be dying trying to eat this food but you know it's all worth it just uh, drink some cold water stay hydrated you know yeah that's the most important thing for uh, tips for hot pot at least But yeah, for hot pot, as I said before, definitely one of my all-time favorite meals. Relative, okay. Well, the ingredients that you put in hot pot, you have like vegetables on. I usually like napa cabbage. It soaks up the flavor of the soup. It's very delicious when it's boiling. And I think hot pot's generally pretty healthy. Took The ingredients are pretty fresh when you go to a hot pot place. And... Except for maybe the soup because it might have some MSG and some oil and all that good bad stuff for you, but that's about it. Yeah. But as I mentioned before, yeah, the other last it's a tie for me. The last two, last meal if I had on this planet definitely hot pot and then Korean barbecue. But for this Korean barbecue, if it was my last meal, I definitely would go out. Definitely got all the high quality meats. You got the wagyu, you got the you know, the highest grade of uh, samgyeopsal, pork belly, or whatever. Everything, the whole works, you know. That would be the dream come true. And I heard, you know, I watched a decent amount of Korean dramas, and you know, occasionally about her about Jeju Island, about how they have like some special type of pig over there, like a black pig or something, and then the pork belly is super good over there, man kill for that and then I feel like Japan yeah the convenience store foods like better than some food that you would find here at restaurants and then that goes to say that Pretty much all the restaurants I ate in Japan, they were all good. They were not like horrible. Like the fast food in Japan is probably considered a delicacy here in America. Like they have what their fast food, of course they have McDonald's and stuff like that, but you know, American food, eh, you get tired of it, right? Burgers and stuff like that. But their fast food over there is like tempura, um, gyodon, oh my gosh, it's so cheap over there and it's a quick fast meal and then ramen right <sighs> I 
Okay, so after after this battle with Ren, after he's defeated, Princess Yuri obviously has a soft heart for Bam. If you remember the first encounter, she thinks he's cute and he showed maybe a little promise as well. So she actually wants to help Bam, but Hansu. Oh, she's me. Let me go. Hong Sung Yu actually says, you cannot interfere. If you do, then Bam will automatically fail the test. And so, along with Princess Yuri and all the other examinees, this decide to put a little faith in Bam. You know, he's no slouch either. Even though, he at this time, of course, he doesn't have the Black March by his side. So, the Black the Bull definitely catches up to Rachel and Bam. And, and the, the Bull makes its rounds, coming around them like, with a predator approaching its prey, badly damaging Bam before it's trying to finish him off. But if you remember how Bam entered the tower, how he faced that white steel eel, I believe it's called, he uses the same tactics tactic as well. So he lets a bull swallow him whole, and he and from his training as a wave controller, he uses the power of Shinzu to blow up the bull from the inside. And pretty much, you know, it's a happy ending from there, right? So they defeated the bull. It's all good. The, the net dolphin's mother is swallowing them up. And hopefully they can reach and reach the land by getting spit out by the mother. It's all good. You know, it seems like a happy ending until BAM! Rachel, she stands up and pushes Bam off the ledge. And he's floating into darkness in the water. So, yeah, th this is why there's multiple reasons maybe I could think about it. There's inferiority complex with Rachel thinking that, you know, Bam doesn't really need me anymore. He's made a lot of friends and he's going to leave me behind, which may show a lot of jealousy. But Bam still, you know, he, he's still faithful to Rachel. I don't know why she f would feel so insecure about that. So... Um, Princess Yuri actually takes the Black March and Green April as cons consolation prize from uh, Anok and Endorsi. And then, of course, Anok's throwing a little fit a little bit, but she says, I mean, she has no right to, you know, butt in, right? Princess Yuri is definitely strong. And she says, once you're stronger, come back and get it and prove it to me. But... You know, this ended the episode of episode 12. There's a, there was a lot of drama. Okay, I remembered in you know the first couple episodes of Tower of God that there's always back on my head. I can resist. I I usually read the comments section down below, which I highly suggest that you definitely don't do because it's usually there's always someone that may spoil something. So, yeah, definitely not in the future, but when in the first couple of episodes, I stopped doing this in the later part of the episodes of the season, but there are some commenters saying they didn't, they were actually good about, good about it. They didn't really spoil it too much, but they say you got these manhua readers um, who are really far ahead in the series saying that, oh boy, you guys have something waiting for you. Ra Rachel is about to break your heart as the most hated character or one of the most hated characters of all time I believe so I was waiting I, I since I read that I knew in the back of my mind that you know this Rachel there's something wrong about her there's something a little off so you know this is yeah this is just the beginning of season one so yeah it was just it's getting good now so hopefully I don't know how they're gonna wrap this up for season one for in episode thirteen, which is next week. It's gonna be the last uh, episode, but you know, Tower of God season one, it, it's kind of slow. I won't, I won't lie, but you know, of course, sometimes first seasons, you, first season, you need to build up the world and the story, and yeah, that's how it is. But yeah, that kind of draws some comparisons to, I would say maybe Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan season one was very good as well building up the story in the world but for me season two didn't really like it wasn't really that good to me it was all right but it's attack on time picked up in like the third season and you know up to date now and season four looks super promising and people say you know, this is going to be the best season yet 
So I can't wait. Definitely we'll do that a review in the future. The final season of Attack on Titan. Which, man, if Attack on Titan, they say this is the last season and it's going to be the best compared to the other ones. Like for season three, it was split into two parts, right? Definitely in season these two parts of season, season three were mind blowing. The the creator of Attack on Titan is ingenious about you know building up the story and the plot is great. And the the characters and everything is it's all meshed well together into one you know big one boring plot if you will. But yeah, if they do the last season right, you know, Attack on Titan for me could be ranked oh man among my top favorite animes or series of all time. Ooh, it probably would be top 10 at least easily but we'll see you know last season but enough of my jibber jamming uh, t- this is it for today's mukbang haven't had hot pot for a while hit the spot no doubt but yeah thank you for watching peace